Okay, today our learning objective is using adj adj to enhance my sentences. Adj adj, you say to yourself, what on earth am I talking about? Well, it's short for adjective adjective, okay? And adjective is the focus of today's lesson. We're thinking all about adjectives. So, could you tell your partner or somebody with you or write it down, what is an adjective? Pause. So, an adjective is a describing word. It is something that describes a noun. Remember, we've said before that nouns are things, okay? So, a book is a noun. Uh, a, a tray is a noun. Uh, a chair is a noun. But it's no good just saying chair because I can't picture the chair, can I? Chairs come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. Okay, but adj adj would be using two adjectives to describe the chair. So it's not just a chair, it's a small blue chair. Small comma blue chair. Adj adj. Adjectives are really important for enhancing nouns. Hey, here's a quick game I'd like you to play with somebody who you're with. It's uh, basically you're going to take it in turns. One person says a noun, so for example the first person might say pen. Okay, and the next person has to say an adjective that describes the noun. Okay, so I might say pen, and you might say long. Then when you go back to the next person, they have to say a noun that is long. Let me show you what that looks like. So for example, um, first person might say pen, because we know that's a noun. Okay, next person might say long. It's not a very good one, but it is an adjective, it does describe it. Okay, so the next person thinks of something, ah, a noun that is long. Okay, I'm going to think of a snake. Okay, there's my noun, so noun, adjective, noun. Hmm, let's think of a word to describe a snake. Uh, snake, um, winding. Okay, it winds all over the place, a winding snake. Uh, then I've got to think of a noun that I could describe as nounding. Okay, it could be a road. Okay, a road. And now I've got to think of an adjective to describe a road. A uh, road, it could be a uh, rough. Okay, adjective. So next, noun. A noun that is rough. Uh, it could be a rock. Okay, and you keep going along. So, noun, adjective, noun, adjective. But they have to link, okay? The purpose of the game is to get them to link. So that's your first little game to play with your partner. Go. Pause. Right. Now you are back, and you might have a little bit of a better idea about adjectives. They are so important in our writing, okay? Without the adjectives, the reader cannot really picture what we're going on about, okay? It's really easy for me to just talk about something and you to have no idea. For example, can you get a piece of paper please, ready, and a pencil? I might say to you, I got a monster. The monster walked into the room. The monster was eating some food. The monster went and uh, kissed his friend goodbye. Okay? Great. You got a little bit of story, comes in, eats some food, kisses his friend goodbye, blah blah blah. But I can't picture it. What does the monster look like? I've got no idea. So, piece of paper. You know that monster I was just talking about? Can you draw it please? Oh wait, no, obviously you can't draw it because you don't have the adjectives to uh, draw it. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you some adjectives and slowly we're going to build up a picture of what that monster looks like. And let's see if you have the same monster that I've got. Okay, this monster has a small round head. Small round head. Adjective, adjective, noun. A small round head. On it, he has a large, wide smile. His nose is like a sausage. Okay, he's got her, her sort of long sausage nose. On top of his head, so on top of his head, a bit positional language for you there, he has three large round eyes. Three large round eyes on top of his head. Okay. He has a long, thin neck. A long, thin neck which sits on top of a large, fat body. She's got a large, fat body. Not only is it large and fat, but it is hairy. He's got a hairy, comma, large, comma, fat body. His arms are like long bits of spaghetti floating in the air with three thin fingers. Two arms, 
like long bits of spaghetti floating in the air with three fingers. He has two thick muscular legs with knobbly knees. Two thick muscular legs with knobbly knees. And he has, uh, ooh, let's say three uh, claw-like toes. Okay? Right, obviously you might pause some bits and see what happens. Get your drawing, have a look at it, right? Does it look anything like this? Because there is my monster. How close was your drawing? There he is with his large round head, his wide uh, big smile, his sausage-like nose, three round eyeballs on top of his head, his long spaghetti-like arms with three fingers, large fat hairy body, thick muscular legs, knobbly knees and three pointed toes, okay? So, the adjectives are what makes my story come to life, okay? They, it is the paint for the picture, okay? If I had just had a picture and I didn't use any paint or anything, it wouldn't make as much sense, it wouldn't make any detail. Your adjectives <coughs> add and enhance your sentence. So, <coughs> that's what an adjective is. Now, how do we use it in a sentence like that? Okay, so, let's take my monster for example, okay? I would say, he has a, uh, and then what I'm going to do, adjective, adjective, noun, okay? Adjective, adjective, noun. So let's talk about the head. I said he has a small, comma, round head, okay? This is the adj, 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 noun, okay? I'm not just saying he's got a small head, he's got a small, round head, yeah? He has, what else does he have? Ooh, he had thick, muscular legs. Thick, comma, muscular legs. Okay? Now, these sentences are really boring and I wouldn't write it like this in a story, obviously. Wonder why these are not good sentences for being in a story. Could you tell your partner? I'm hoping you're saying because of the way that the openers are. He has, he has, that's really, really boring. But just for today, and just to practice using these adge adge, this is what I would like you to do. I want you to create me a monster, okay? You're gonna create a monster. It can look like whatever you want. I want a nice drawing. Underneath it, or next to it on another piece of paper, I want lots of sentences using this adge adge, okay? So let's not just have boring things like big, small, and round that Mr. Jordan used today. I want exciting things to describe him. Yeah, he has a, um, uh, oh gosh, I really should have thought about this before, shouldn't I? It's not just big though, it could be enormous, um, wobbly belly. Adjective, adjective, noun, okay? Not just big, fat, enormous, wobbly belly, yeah? So, all you're doing today, we're gonna to look at other tricks to enhance this later, but it's a small objective, it's using adj, adj to, you, to enhance our sentences. I want you to create a monster, I want it to be really exciting, and I would like some adj, adj sentences to go with it. There is another video that's gonna go with this about similes, okay? And we're gonna be adding to our uh, monster a little bit more. But first thing to do, some adj-adj sentences about your monster. Off you go.